Welcome to the February 2018 issue of What's Up in Paris. This monthly magazine is dedicated to everything you need to experience, see, listen to and do in Paris. So stay with us and discover the What's Up in Paris selection of the events you shouldn't miss in February 2018. If spring seems a long way off during this wet, chilly month, head for the Jardin des Plantes. In the warm, humid atmosphere of the tropical greenhouse, you'll find a thousand orchids in bloom on display from 8th of February to the 5th of March, enough to keep you going until birds return. For its sixth event, Mille et une Orchidée has chosen Colombia as its theme with the aim of showing visitors some fascinating, unknown pieces of this delightful flower. In a setting that uses a son et lumière show to magnify the Crotte du Grand Rocher, the installation by artists Claudia Isabel Navas and Ramon Lacerna, entitled Lumière d'Orchidée, depicts a series of shadows of orchids from this South American country. However, France is not to be left out as four French orchids growers will also be exhibiting some original plants in flower field scenes at the heart of the greenhouse. Practical information www.jardindesplantes.net Feel like dressing up as little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, Tom Thumb or Donkey Skin? Then disguise yourself from the Paris Carnival on Sunday 11th of February. The theme for this, the 21st event, is Tales by Pillow and Others, the ideal occasion for giving children some fun and the adults a new lease of life. For the procession, meet in Place Gambetta in the 20th arrondissement from 1 pm. And if you like to celebrate the traditional Saint Valentine's Day, the Musée Rodin is taking a kitsch and embellishment free look back at the essence of this celebration by offering a love night on Wednesday, the 14th of February, from 7 pm to 11 pm. Romanticism and sensuality are the theme for the evening, with a walk through the garden and the museum on the theme of love, of course, and against a background of jazz and soft lightning. Bookings on www.museerodin.fr. Inventiveness is the order of the day at the Musée en Herbe. The museum, well known for introducing children to the world of art, is offering a new, colorful, information-packed exhibition with Atelier à la Loupe de Monet à Huawei. From the 25th of January to the 9th of September 2018, this retrospective of 40 paintings of artists, studios and portraits, painted by Damien Helves, will immerse youngsters in the world of the great painters from the 19th century to the present day, including Picasso, Basquiat, Giacometti and Brancusi. Equipped with a magnifying glass, a hat and a set of clues, the children will have to put themselves in Sherlock Holmes' shoes to bring their investigations to a successful conclusion. For the real geeks, augmented reality helmets, games and tablets will also be available. Practical information museonair.com from the 8th of February to the 31st of March, the Galerie Agathe Gaillard is hosting a superb exhibition dedicated to the photographers Manuel Alvarez Bravo and Colette Urpechel. Songe Mexicain is an opportunity to discover the work of the founding father of Mexican photography, the first Latin American to enter the prestigious MoMA New York collection, along with that of this French wife Colette Urbechel, who made Mexico her country of adoption. Vibrant, beautiful images of life. Free entry. The Musée Marmottan Monet is hosting an exhibition entitled Coro, Le Peintre et ses Modèles from the 8th of February to the 8th of July, with over 60 paintings often dedicating women which the painter kept secret. Through these figures, the exhibition takes the visitor behind the scenes in Coro's studio, where the painter worked hard to master the anatomy of the human body and facial attitudes and expressions. Information www.marmottan.fr if you find winter gloomy, come and celebrate depression at the Folie Bergère de Paris on the 12th of February. A few days before Saint Valentine's Day, Raphael Mezrahi brings together the most depressing singers and comedians for Une Nuit de la Déprime. André Manoukian, Marc Lavoine, Romory Vassili, Grégoire, Kali, Laurent Baffy will be accompanying us on a journey of despair, an evening on which you'll simply adore being miserable. On the 23rd of February, the Australian sensitive pop singer Rai X will be at the Trianon with the French Padelou Symphony Orchestra. Rai Kermin, his real name, produced his first album Down in 2016, 12 songs that gave a full insight into the singer-songwriter sensitivity. Come and celebrate Chinese New Year 2018 at the Musée Guimet on Saturday 17 and Sunday 18 February. To celebrate the Year of the Dog, the program includes visual artists and the lion dance, a traditional Asian dance during which dancers wearing lion costumes imitate the animal's movements. 
The lion dance is supposed to bring luck. Information www.guimet.fr As part of its soirée nomade and in connection with the exhibition dedicated to the Malian photographer Malik Sidibe, who loved capturing festive atmospheres, the Cartier Foundation is organizing a large public dance on Saturday 17 of February. For his first appearance in France, the group Taras, well known to popular bars in Bamako, will be taking us back to the crazy atmosphere of the dances of the 60s. Meet at 8.30 pm and dance to the rhythm of the salsa, rumba, and twist. Finally, from the 24th of February to the 4th of March, the Salon de l'Agriculture returns to the Paris Exhibition Center at Porte de Versailles. This year's theme is Agriculture Collective Adventure. The four themes proposed by nearly 650,000 visitors will focus on livestock farming and its distribution channels, crops and plants distribution channels, garden and vegetable garden, product of the regions of France, overseas territories and the world and agricultural services and professions. The whole program is at www.salonagriculture.com. Thank you for following us, we'll be back again next month.